really like the size of those knockers. <laughs> Welcome back to the spiritual realm, everybody. We're here on Wafflin and Malfoy, right? I did some research this week. Oh. Okay, because I know, like, obviously, you're dead against the whole spirit realm oh, and believing uh, that this, this podcast is made up of energy and that we're all, like, on this journey together. <laughs> <laughs> what research did you do? Basically, I found a website where there's this medium, okay, that bangs on TikTok. www.ipredictthefuture.com <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. She, like, does the whole entire uh, thing where you can book it. <laughs> And, and she does it over Zoom. Yeah, but how is this possible? Did you I do thought, it? I haven't done it. I thought we could do it on this podcast and everyone can be involved. And she also does it where you can reach out to dead pets. She's thought, so what? So little Sparky is going to come running up to like, her. Like, poor Luke's little old dog is going to somehow just magically appear in, like, ghost land and going, woof, woof. <laughs> no. do, now, he, now the dog speaks English, does he? <laughs> Maybe. This fucking crazy woman knows what a dog's thinking No, 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 no. She can, she can listen to the fucking dead hamster in my garden. <laughs> Bullshit. Well, I just thought it was a good idea, and I think part of it, what she says, is, like, if you're sceptical, it can interrupt the... Uh, oh, no the shit. <laughs> no shit. So you have to have gullible idiots going in and saying, oh, yes, no, I understand what you're saying. I'm going to interpret it like that will be part of my life. Fuck off. <laughs> well, I thought it was a good well, idea. I'll be open. I'll be open because obviously I predict the future now. So I'll be open to all of this sort of like nonsense and trying to try and, try and you know, learn about yeah, it. Yeah, to be fair, the way I've like set you up there, great. You're like, you've, you've had your laugh, you've had your joke, all your ha ha ha, right? Mm. But on a level... Multiple people have actually DM'd saying that, like, their mum or someone they know uh, are mediums, right? And it made me think, right? Nostradamus. Okay, Nostradamus. <laughs> <laughs> Who has Wait. done... I've got here. He's predicted a lot of things, right? And I'm like, how's he predicted things? By the way, these, I think the medium's more connect to dead people Which and like speak a... to them, whereas Nostradamus literally predicted the future. Is he like a Greek mythologist? Who is he? He's an individual. Fuck is Notre Dame <laughs> Who is that? Miss Notre Dame. Who, who is he? He's a cat. No, he's, he's a, a cat. <laughs> <laughs> he's that fucking octopus that predicted the world, <laughs> the world Cup results. Like, mate, no. they just put food on that, that different octopus plate. No, he's not. He's not a cat. <laughs> he's an animal. No, no, no. He's a person. Ready? Oh so Notre Dame <laughs> predicted the beginning of the Second World War. Hitler's ascension, the fall of communism, President JFK's assassination, India's independence, and the occurrence of Israel's state on the world map. Events confirmed by the passing of time, but also occurrences <laughs> that go further in time. This was all in a book he wrote 500 years ago. Malfoy. Let me see the book. What? Well, okay, we okay what, did, what did he get wrong? How many things did he get wrong? <laughs> Yeah, but like... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, he predicted a war that's going to happen in the future. Mm. It's 500 years ago. Wars happen every day. Yeah, if you throw 100 darts in the dark, one of them is going to hit bullseye. Look, right. All I'm saying, he's got lucky. <laughs> okay. Okay, how did he predict Israel? I'm not too sure. Maybe Jerusalem existed back in the day. Well, obviously. Well, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. All this, all this, <laughs> you know, because we had a comment on last week's episode. Now for you. Right, that goes like this. I agree that Theo is a closed-minded little freak. <laughs> little <laughs> Enjoy freak. No, the, I think you've added the, that in there. No. <laughs> the podcast would be really good with conspiracy and spirituality. The reason Theo is so quick to shrug these things off is also the reason why his hair's falling out. <laughs> and is always crying about his injuries. He needs <laughs> to sort himself out because he's boring, the little twat. <laughs> and I have no doubt his new girlfriend will leave him. Are you sure this wasn't written by Joe Weller? <laughs> he also isn't aware that Joe and Luke are telling him he is more confident and happy when in reality he is still the sad little nerd he was. <laughs> Why did he... Sorry, is this real? <laughs> yeah. Wait, look, oh my God, <laughs> it actually is. Yeah, it is real, Malfoy. Why does that sound like something you would say? Wait, no. By Fatty S. That's his name. So why has he got out of his way to write a fucking paragraph? Mate, there was a few right in last week's episode because the point I was raising about you not being open to these fun and interesting topics is 
limiting so let me the get podcast. This, let me right. get this straight. Hang on, no, let me get this straight. Okay. Because obviously this this guy. Yeah. He's, I'm, I'm ra- I've rattled. Oh, him. you're gonna you're, you're gonna attack him now, aren't uh, you? Yeah. Like, well, well, you he do. hasn't attacked me. <laughs> he about, said valid point, son. Stop crying about your Could injuries. A He's a boring little twat. His girlfriend's gonna leave him. That part might be true, but oh, that part might. No, be. It, it, is, it is quite sad that I've rattled this guy so much he has to personally. So just attack because me. someone Look, has an has a point no, against your, what you think, you're, they're instantly rattled. We can't just have an open debate. He's called me a boring little twat. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, Mate, right? I'm not. No, hang on a sec, Luke. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. I'm, I'm going to defend you here. Okay. Because right, the alternative is right. Is that Theo sat there? You said whatever you said, and Theo just says, "Yeah, I agree." No, no, that's no, but not segment, agree, segment over. But be open-minded. No, right, no. let's have a chat about UFOs and aliens and shit. Listen here. What does this boring little twat fatty ass want me to sit there and be like, "Oh, I really agree with your UFOs." No, that's they not exist. the point. Do you want that's me to be point. a yes man? We're not man? asking you. No, to just I'm be here. a yes man, no, lad. I'm here to give a debate and have a bit of fun and banter. Do you want me to fuck be a boring little twat? No, I'm here to say. Also, you're putting on an act. No, I also disagree with a lot of the stuff you actually say. But I, so I, I want to, you know, give it a bit of fun element to it. So, yeah, I want to go, oh, fuck this kid, man. You're fucking. <laughs> no. Don't say stuff like that I said, on fuck camera. That kid, man. Fuck this kid. Said, no, you said, fuck that kid. No, you you're said, gonna, I you like that kid. You're, you're going to fuck him. <laughs> no one's thinking, no one said that. You, you did. No, we didn't. Anyways. Well, well actually, no, that was actually a bit of a personal alert. That, that was very That, that wasn't an That was horrible. What I want to say is that you said, right, I've got him on strings. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm um, we got we got an email, weirdly enough, from someone that says I have everyone I have everyone on strings complex needs to stop. Now I'll, I'll pass it over to Weller. Okay, so so that's the tagline, and it goes in the last. Wait, six, wait, is this no, episode just an attack? On no, me? it's not. No, it's no, not. No, because we're defending you at the same time. Okay, we're, let me hear we're it. We're defending you. <laughs> in the last six months or so, Theo has developed an extremely and un- no, are you sure you want, this is an attack, isn't it? No. no I, I, Mate, I don't care. What You're people, okay. I don't care what these people say. Wait, but are you sure? Fuck <laughs> <laughs> no. Theo has developed an extreme. Wait, listen. Theo has developed an extremely annoying personality trait where he thinks he is a hundred percent correct on topics he has little to no knowledge about. Huge example here on the topic of ghosts, and you see it constantly on his football show when someone says something back to let him know how idiotic he is. He replies with. I just have you on streams. <laughs> I, do, I right? used to like Theo, but he's becoming extremely annoying. Love the podcast and keeps me going. Joe and Luke, keep it up. What, what a wanker. Sounds like you've got so you got to love the podcast. So you don't, see you, anything, you don't see anything in what he's saying? Mate, half the time on that You just see it as an insult. Show, no, just, what the fuck? This is such an attack. <laughs> I'm just trying to have a bit of banter. Sorry, why is this kid taking it so seriously? No, why, he's what? saying that your response... To be to someone say like someone rebuttaling you is to say I've got you on strings I've got you rattled well, rather than going oh you know what you have a point no but I do have you rattled that's my point <laughs> my okay. point is like you actually are very rattled okay <laughs> like half the time half the time I'm just pulling someone's leg right I'm not actually being serious right. okay that's that's the truth we all know it half the time I'm not being serious. Do we? But with this stuff, it's so much fun to... <laughs> it's actually so much fun just to keep, you know, chugging away that I can't resist. Yeah. Like, it's not... It's not this... <laughs> <laughs> it is just very fun, though, isn't it? Like, yeah. when I'm wrong, I'll admit that I'm wrong. But prove to me that ghost <laughs> exists. You can't. Okay, so if we, got, I mean? if we got this lovely lady who is a medium... Who... <laughs> Who could come on and and do a reading, right? And started coming out with things, you know, that you were only you knew. Yep. Um, like, are you going to sit there and mug her off? Because no. I'm not going to get. So, I'm not going to arrange this lovely person to come on if you're just going to take the piss out of them. No, no, I won't do that. If if, if that's how she earns a living, I'll that, after, I'll respect. So, so you think it's just a money making scheme? <laughs> no, I'm joking. But I will I will give her the time of the day because I I'm, I want to learn about this stuff. No, you don't. But what I will say, Joseph, is that you said to me just now yep. that if you are not willing to let her in, she won't predict your future or whatever bullshit she does. So. What we're going to do is, when you organise it, you're going to say it's just for you two? No, it's for you. No, no. Don't tell her who I am. What? Don't give her the chance to do research before she comes on the show. Oh, he thinks that she's going to go research him and be like, oh, did you start YouTube in 2014? Uh, Yeah. (laughs) Google tells you that one. 
But that's what I want us to do. Right. I, I, look, if, if she does, starts coming out of all this stuff, like you went to, I don't know, wherever, when you were eight, then Your like... Dad's shed. Like, what? <laughs> what? Huh? What? Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want it to be a case of, she has no idea who she's going in to see, just so I really get the real her. What can she show me? Yeah. You know, if she starts to scare me, that's what I want. I want to be scared. I want to feel something, you know? Show yeah. me that you actually are not a fraud. Okay. That's what I want. I want her to prove to me that she... Yeah, no, I accept that. I yeah. do accept that. Because I feel like you actually genuinely quite want to speak to her, like, for your own oh, I'd be No, thing. no, no, I'd be scared, mate. If she started being like, oh, yeah, some, like, relative that has passed had said something in, about me that I only I know or something like that, that would actually freak me out. But realistically, like, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, no, but you don't know for sure. No, I know, I know. People have had experiences where Of course, happened. of course, but realistically, like, chances are that like, she doesn't know what, like, I don't know, my dead nan said to me, like, five years ago. Okay. But I really want her to come on the show. This, this, it sounds like a don't, but I am intrigued to see what well, she look, will have to boys, say. Boys, we have been promising a guest for a while. I think, oh, I think we've got yeah. to make I think it, it needs happen. to be more of a segment rather than the whole yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. we'll get her on for a segment eventually. But in other news, right? Been chatting to Hasbulla. Hasbulla? I've been talking to him in the DMs. Actual mini Has. I think so. <laughs> oh, it's, no. It's his account, <laughs> he right? He can't speak English. No, no he's he's not not. He goes, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, basically. Logan Paul. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and get him on FaceTime for this, this pod. So you're definitely not chatting to like his English interpreter. So I think I'm in. chatting to the interpreter, <laughs> right? But in part, as part of getting a Hasbulla NFT, he's going to be doing a FaceTime with me to promote it. Surely. I don't know if I'm talking to some fraud or if it's the legitimate Hasbulla. You, know, you saw he posted a photo saying, this is my account. This is me signing it at NFT Hasbulla or whatever. Oh, it's not that account though. What? Well, that account doesn't ex- exist anymore. Oh, isn't it like Crypto Hasbulla? Yeah, right? that's who I've been chatting to. Is it verified? No. Has he put anything on to, like, is him showing that he yeah. has the account? No, no, no. It is, it, yeah, I've done some research and I think it's him. But the bottom line is, how cool will it be to actually get him live on Waffling? How much English does he know? I'm not entirely sure, but what I reckon we do is we get Waffling Mafia. The top comment on this episode, we will ask... To Hasbulla. So get your questions in that you think we should ask Hasbulla. How are we going to get Hasbulla on the podcast? The top, that is mental, the top, The top comment is what we have to ask him. Yeah. So it's in your hands, guys. Who Don't can... fuck it. Are you, are you scared about what this NFT will look like? Nah. Because you know like how like if you combine you two, it's sort of just like... The same person. The same person. <laughs> Mate, I, I, I keep saying this, right? He looks like my mum. Wait, you're wearing the same colour, everything? <laughs> like That actually looks like you and your mum. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Like I put, I got a photo up, right? And it, he looks more like my mum's son than me. <laughs> is that a bit offensive? What? No, why is it offensive? He's just... But like, yeah, no, it basically... Is, it's a crossbreed between you and your mum. Yeah. Like, he's got your height and he's got your mum's face. <laughs> do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Why I think that has bullet banter works is that... <laughs> I... We share mentalities. Underdog. Little. <laughs> And everyone thinks we're mugs, but we have... No one thinks he's a mug. No one thinks he's a mug. <laughs> <laughs> no, basically, I just think we we have good spirits. <laughs> we just we just we don't let anyone get us down. <laughs> oh yeah, you're very you're very the same in that sense. Yeah, just so like we <laughs> no one <laughs> You're both good at boxing. <laughs> No, but he tries to fight everyone, like me. Do you know the best thing about him? Is that, like, he just, he just lets people pick him up. <laughs> like a baby. Yeah. And he loves it. Isn't he, like, 18? 19. No. <laughs> do you know it's that? quite nice how, like, every time you see him, he's always happy. No, he's not. He tries to fight. Look at him. <laughs> he's just like... No, no, but, you know, he's always, like, loving life. He's, have like, on, seen, a, on a jet ski or something. Have you seen the one yeah, with the little dove? Him. He's just, like, stroking the dove. Yeah. No. It's very wholesome. Yeah. I know, it's quite no, there is something, I think I think it's where like as humans like we're designed to <laughs> be endeared by babies, right? So where he does resemble a small child, <laughs> are you laughing? He we, he activates that part of our brain. Oh well, no, in fairness, <laughs> so he does why, resemble a child. You know what I mean? So that's why we're like, oh, and it makes us feel quite wholesome. Like we want to be like, oh, <laughs> do you know what I mean? He is the king. Yeah, he's our king now. It yeah, probably could come across as quite patronising. Is it, do you reckon? No, no, it could, no, but no, 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 I'm saying it could potentially. I don't think it is because I completely understand <laughs> what you're saying. Is he going to come on the podcast? Like, are there going to be some people that would be like, 
Like, <laughs> what? 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 Don't, don't deep it. Mate. What? Yeah, no, don't deep what? It. Don't what? Deep it. I don't really know how to say what. what so what you I think to... pe- there are people that may be small? I'm yeah. small. Yeah, yeah, but, mate, but that's I the... mean, like, and you take the piss out of me. No, all I mean, the time. like, clinically small. Yeah. That, that maybe could take you know you can't they probably spent their whole right. life being okay like, i understand that, that. i understand that, that. Is a ve- no i totally understand that but what we're saying is hard fact is that hasbullah does resemble that of a young child so therefore that's why it may activate our the same sort of like ah feeling that we have towards young children that wholesome feeling yeah that's just factual it's like those people no no, that, no I, I completely agree yeah. it's like those people where you say something and then someone goes oh that's sexist and then you're like <laughs> no it's not the only thing sexist is that you think that what I've said is sexist. Right. Ooh, Uno reverse card. Yeah, actual Uno reverse card. Like, Hasbullah is a legend. Like, yeah. how did he even blow up? I don't know. Like, where's it come from? I think it's more like, because there's many people that have all sorts of different growth, if whatever. Mm. Yeah, okay, I'm one of them, whatever. I'm not. I'm actually fucking not that small. Mate, you're 5'6". Five, I'm 5'9 five, <laughs> and three quarters. With stilts on. With no stilts on. Right? Anyways... But what I'm saying, it's his personality. Brilliant. That that comes through. No matter, regardless of his height, he he fucking has beans about him, and he backs himself. Mm. And there's something about someone that fully believes in themselves that is so just like, it it attracts. It attracts. And the thing is, he can get away with it. Like he's one of the, the only few that can just like go up to Khabib and punch him in the face. Oh, yeah. He, well, he has done. No, yeah, he yeah. does do that, doesn't he? Because they aren't they they. They're not relatives, they're like cousins or something, are they? They know each other really Who? well. Who's they? Khabib and Hasbullah. I'm Khabib? Not... You know, like UFC yeah, Khabib. Well, they're related. I'm pretty sure that you've ever related That's... or really good friends. I don't think they're related. I'm, I'm not being like, funny, though. If he came up to you and punched you around the face, if you turned around and twatted him, <laughs> like, you'd be the one that looked like a cunt, not him. Yeah, no, I would never do that. I could not do that to Hasbullah. Well, no, no one's going to hit him. Have you not seen the video of him and Khabib? Just like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they're really, like, close. I no, think they're no, really no, good friends. I, I didn't think they were related, but, I like... distant cousins. I think he made that part up. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, distant cousins, mate. Now, guys, with February the 14th coming up, right? Valentine's Day. Your knob! <laughs> <laughs> Your lower region needs to be in good condition. Oh, yes. Right? And Manscaped are here to save your day. Right, you can get 20% off their performance package 4.0, right, with the code Wafflin at manscaped.com. Right, perfect. Now, what is so good about the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0, Malfoy? Boys, that Lawnmower 4.0. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you this the Lawnmower 4.0 is incredible. Waterproof reduces the chances of, you know, getting a cut down there and the light, it helps in the dark places. <laughs> and the whole package that they send. Is fresh, like it is a nice package. Get some skinny like, as well. Yeah, you get boxers, true. you get clippers, you get tweezers. It's everything you need to be in sharp condition for the Valentine's Day. <laughs> okay, or just any, you know, whenever you want. But remember, twenty percent off and free shipping at Manscaped.com with the code Wafflin. Back on with this show. So Malfoy, obviously, as always, um, we've got our Bible on the table. Now, that- now, <clears throat> for those that have missed this episode, I mean, the season so far. This is the ultimate guide to get a girlfriend. Yeah, we, also, okay. we also must say that last week we took the piss out of Matt Braddon. You took the piss. And uh, we were actually taking the piss out of a random oh, guy on yeah, the internet. You. So you pulled up a picture of him, started mocking the way he looked. And it, it wasn't actually the author of that. It's just probably so, some nice guy that was doing charity work or something. Oh. Yeah, sorry, Matt. So this week, what have we got, Malfoy? Uh, well, it's a random page, page 45 of the Bible. When approaching a girl, you should try to conceal your interest in her. Okay, so not make it blate that you're into her. Mm. You need to sort of like, oh yeah, you are just another human being and like anyone else. Which actually does make sense. <clears> you know, don't is... wanna... Yeah, I mean, you've got, to, you've got to strike the balance though. Because if you act like too disinterested, then they're, they're, they're just never going to like... Is this, is this a first the... though? Is this, when, 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 when is this? What, what did it what, say again? Well, this is just a random page. <laughs> no, 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 what did it say? It when said... approaching a girl, you should try to conceal your interest in her. Okay, so when approaching her, so is this literally like when walking up to her or when you're making your move? I think making your move, yeah. <laughs> well, but how can you? You wouldn't walk up to a girl and be like, I'm not very interested in you. <laughs> no, like, the reason no. you're walking up to her, she's going to be like, oh, you must be interested. No, I think, I think the... conceal is more of a case of trying yeah. to hide it a little bit. Don't come on too strong. Okay. Also, don't be too... Yeah, it's, it's, it's not saying actively make it clear that you don't like her. I think it's just it's trying to stay a bit neutral at first. Like, do you reckon a girl or a man or a, 
someone else. Do you think they would prefer if you came on too strong or do they prefer a chase? Well, if I came on to you right now, hi Malfoy. <laughs> I really like the size of those knockers. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that feel? Terrifying. <laughs> Tell me you've done that. Yeah. That's what I do. Um, the, the lizard. It works, does it? No, no, no. no. just keep running away from me. No, no, no. But if I hypothetically did that, is that too strong? Or if I was like, hi, Mel, do you want to go play <laughs> But you did that to me once, and it was what? just us two in the corridor. Wait, what? In we the, were in France for like the, the Euros in the stadium. And I filmed it. Yeah, and it's just you looking like an actual creep, and it, no one's around us. No, it's just, just us. us. Yeah. Just us two. <laughs> on the stairwell. Strange boy, yeah, aren't I remember you? that one, Will, don't you? <laughs> well, yeah, it always, it always comes up on my phone. That's a favourite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, ready? Oh, there you go. What? Show her a glimpse of love for some time and then act as if there's nothing there. Oh, God, that's a bit <laughs> manipulative. <laughs> Pretend like you like her, then just take it all away. <laughs> While you keep her guessing, you will increase her fantasy and desire for you. Ah. Oh. Until it gets to a point when she wants you more than you want her. Ross Clark. Does that happen? <laughs> <laughs> or will they just go, well, oh, he's not interested then? Yeah. I, I, I get this idea of like giving a bit of your energy <laughs> <laughs> and then just sort of like, but not too much. So there's enough to sort of formulate in the brain and start almost like <clears throat> letting her fill in the gaps so that it's like, you don't want to play all your cards. So they're like, oh, I've just, I know it, everything about them. Oh, so you mean I don't say, know, like, I think you plant, should almost plant a seed of you, like let them fill you. No, no, no. Huh? I think I get what it's saying. About what, what, what he's saying is like, give them enough so that they can start coming up with their own scenarios in their head. Gas them up. Gas so, them up to. No, no, not gas, them, gas them. No, but I mean gas them. I mean like, how does it mean? Like, and this works both ways. Give them enough so so that they. Want more? Uh, yeah, like so they they're like, oh, this person's interesting. Like when you have one Pringle, you want more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm a Pringle. <laughs> so just give them an, a little Pringles worth. And then, and then it's sort of like, oh, but now I'm also going to carry on with my day to day life. I'm not now just going to just Forget become enough. obsessed <laughs> and just come on. Why don't if I if does the idea of me talking to anyone else annoy you? <laughs> I won't let anyone else talk to me now. Ah! No, do, <laughs> do you know what I mean? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but surely, if you want to keep, you want to, you only want to start. Keeping her guessing if, like, you actually realise if she is actually into you a little bit. Like, what, what happens if, like, you follow this book, but all the signs are saying, like, she ain't interested, mate. <laughs> and you're like, no, I'm keeping her guessing, no, aren't I? <laughs> she's, no, she's not texting uh, you. Here's the thing. I don't believe there's a guide to getting a boyfriend or girlfriend. Mate, yeah, there is. No, but I don't believe it's, it can be, like, <laughs> <laughs> I, feel, <laughs> I feel like there's, it's all dependent. Every case is different. There's well, no one guide. He's about to admit something to us here. Oh, here we go. It's all bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> now, I have to admit that concealing your intentions if you are attracted to someone as a guy is difficult. Yeah. But you can learn it by practicing. And following this guide is not too hard. The guys that do it get the, almost any girl they... This is so shitly written. <laughs> the guys that do it get almost any girl they want. Shut up. A good way to do this is through conversations with her. And that's what the next chapter is all about. Using words to get her under your spell. I don't like this get your under get under your spell. Like it's some sort of manipulative... I'm coercing you into like liking me. It, it should be sounds creepy. Yeah, I don't know. Mm. It's very, but I, I'm eager to like hear more from this guy. Well, that's so. what he's done, mate. He's yeah. just done his own tactics on you. He's fed you a Pringle. <laughs> you, want, you want more Pringles? Well, yeah, the Pringles worked on <coughs> me. I know. Fucking hell. Well, that's the guide. That is the guide. Oh, go on. What are you gonna say? Well, I haven't got anything else. Oh, I was in Budapest this weekend. Oh yeah. Wait. So you went on another holiday? Yeah. And I don't understand this. Where is all your money coming from? <laughs> huh? Where do you, yeah, because surely you're out of money now. You went to Dubai, then you got Budapest. Well, Budapest was a Christmas present. buying her chockies. Budapest was a Christmas present from her. Oh, it's, so she paid? Yeah. That's cool. That's class. Wow. Actual got hammered. Everything. Well, I paid for a couple of dinners. Nice. You know, I wanted to say thank you and all that. Yeah. Mate, have you been there before? One of the best places. No, I didn't go on this planet. He, he told me a story in the car. He's got to say it. 
Go on. All right. Well, outside uh, Zimpla. So Zimpla, they have like these ruin bars. Ruin bars? They're called ruin bars. Yeah, okay. and they're like indoor, outdoor type vibes. Yeah. But it's mental. Oh my God, it's mental. Each room, there's like different rooms. I did a 70% absinthe shot. Do you remember the- Did that get you mullered? Because that's whenever I've gone to parties <laughs> and done that, I'm literally like, like dubstep music started making me feel sick. Ooh. Like well, imagine music feel, making you feel, has anyone ever had music making them feel sick when I, they're drunk? Yeah, sometimes, ooh. I don't know about when I'm drunk. Maybe like on a train. Oh. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, yeah, I was all right. And then I did this 70% absinthe shot. Fucking I know hell. someone that went temporarily blind from doing too much absinthe. Well, who? Uh, well, it was actually someone that we went to school with, their father. Their dad? Yeah. Oh, fuck. Anyways, long story short, Budapest is a belter. Yeah, right. if anyone is looking to go on a lad's holiday. And she... Lad's holiday? What is it, probably one of them? Well, no, you can take your bird there. Or your, you can take your, your girlfriend there. Okay, brilliant. We could go on like a, a, triple, a triple holiday. Yeah. If you've got a girlfriend. Oi. Do so, you... Joe Rogan. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. yeah? yeah. So, Joe Rogan, right, allegedly, he's, like, fucked himself. Yeah, we spoke Did... about this the other week. I brought it up. Did you? Wait. Yeah, but so now I... we know about it. Yeah, so now <laughs> we know about it. Basically, like, for those that don't know, he's been obviously having his podcast guests come on, lots of which are anti-vaxxers and people that are against the COVID vaccine, and he's <clears throat> now got a lot of backlash for spreading misinformation and then this, there's this concept now of like where Spotify needs to be, and internet in general needs to be Impact. censored mm. or like checked for facts because a lot of people are getting influenced from Maybe. stuff that might not actually be like. I did you see some, uh, a bit, I can't remember his name, like a big artist removed all his yeah. songs. Neil, Neil Young. Young. Neil removed all his songs and it made the shares drop by like two billion quid. So he. Th th and he won't put them back on Spotify until they remove Joe Rogan from so Spotify. Is, can I just ask, is Joe Rogan likely to be sacked from Spotify? No. Because he, their shares have gone down by billions. Their worth, their market value has I, gone down by billions. I, I think if they get rid of Joe Rogan, they'll go down even further. Really? Yeah, because... It's such a it's complicated free, it, thing, it, isn't it's, it? It's difficult, isn't it? Because it's, it is free speech. And the guys he's getting on are actual, like... Um, so I watched his like, video he uploaded on Instagram. They are the actual, like, scientists. Yeah, yeah, but, but, he, but, but were... it's like only getting a certain type of person on. Yeah, get and then I, I've seen a lot. I don't watch much of Joe Rogan, but I've seen people say, "Oh, Joe Rogan used to be very uh, open-minded to to lots of things, and now yeah, I've seen that. if anyone says anything in favour of the vaccine, he says no, like it's wrong, 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 and it's like very much anti-vax mentality rather yeah. than free-flowing views." I think that was the one thing I really I haven't watched it in. In months, that was the one thing I really liked about him was that he was he could listen to both sides of the story, right? And he wouldn't admit when he was wrong. He wouldn't admit when he was he wrong. he could admit when he was right. wrong rather. Yeah. Whereas I think now he's very much set in his ways of like COVID is a hoax, really? not a hoax, but like it's not as bad mm. as it's we strange because I, yeah, which I, and I I think a lot of us well I mean you could argue I mean say that to like the, the, like hundreds of thousands of dead people but yeah yeah but I think like I think everyone's getting to a point definitely where they're like. We need to just like start living. Do you know what I mean? But like in the UK, we pretty much are well, now, yeah, really, the, aren't we? The like, yeah. just elsewhere, it's like where we've still got to do like, you know, if you're triple vax and you, in order to go, so like, I was looking to go to Dubai, you've just been, yeah. and you have to do a PCR test and all that. Still, it's like they're on it out there. What's going on? But I think the UK, but I think the UK are accidentally where we are right now. Oh, because of Johnson's party antics. I think B B Boris has low key sort of like opened us up a lot quicker than everyone else around the UK. Like for example, coming back into the UK, back from the Dubai, back from Budapest, you don't need to do a test at all. I should, you should yeah. crappy locator form and that's it. You, you have to book a day two test on day two and take that. Hmm, what do you mean book? What did you do? Did you do that? <laughs> yeah, of course. No, you didn't. Well, yeah, you, you can't. People don't. No, you have to. You have to have a reference number from the booking. Yeah, but that you, you did on use the a previous uh, one. You, did the previous booking references work? I don't. Well, I you can basically put anything in there, and it just works. Oh, well, is that what you did? No, but is that's that what, what you did. It's what I've heard that you did from Stanard. <laughs> from Stanard <laughs> told me. <laughs> Stanard told me. Really? Yeah. I haven't well, spoken to really? Stanard in a few days. Do that. <laughs> what? But yeah, yeah. no. Uh, and also, I've noticed that, like, you know how the whole you're meant to wear masks inside at the moment. Still, nah, that stopped like last. Yeah, that's Thursday. that's that's not legitimate, my brother. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, how embarrassing! Because I've been walking around with masks, and I'm like, well, you can do, you can do. Yeah, no, no, like... as in, no, as in, like, and like everyone's like not wearing masks in the shop, and I'm like, what's going on here? Like, have I missed an announcement or something? Yes. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I literally did miss an announcement. Absolutely. You don't have to yeah. wear masks anymore. Nah. 
No. Oh, but no, you, no, no. you can do. It's your own choice. But yeah. What so, the fuck? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You could have told me. Ah, uh, we'll tell you next time. Now, do you love quality coffee? Right? Does your partner, and potentially for Valentine's Day, would they love some? As well as a free pink refillable coffee tin. Well, my friends, the people at Grind are here to offer you not only phenomenal coffee, but sustainable fair trade coffee. That is good for the planet. Why, you ask? Because it comes in compostable pods. Oh. Right, so works with your original style Nespresso machine. And if you don't have a coffee machine, you can get the beans or the grounded edition. Right, perfecto. And boys, honestly, when I say this stuff tastes good, I mean it. I have it every day. It's incredible. Yeah, it I'm, is. I'm not lying. I've had a lot of people over as I've moved into the new house. They all love it. It's banging. Phenomenal. Well, if you would like to get your first set of 30 compostable pods for just £5 and the pink refillable grind tin, go to grind.co.uk and use the code WAFFLING at checkout. That is 60% off the perfect cup of coffee at home. Back on with the show. In other news, right? My mother. Oh, here we go. <laughs> my mother is attempting the Great British record at her age for deadlifting. Yeah, this is insane. Is this for female? No, it's for male, mate. <laughs> 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 Fucking hell! <laughs> 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 you could be like the overall world record. Oh, what? Yeah, she's going to beat like freaking Batista. <laughs> like, fucking hell. <laughs> Every and week, what? without fail, you say something. <laughs> no, I don't. Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> what, is the, uh, what is the current world record for her age? So this, there isn't one. It's not world, it's Great Britain, right? For her age... But surely it's not very hard to break, then. Exactly, right? So That's she's setting a, a record. So for her age and uh, weight... She has to lose four kilos. But for that weight and age, there is no current record. Well, why doesn't she so just set it now? Gonna, so she's, so she's gonna, just setting it in the gym every day. No, <laughs> so, yeah, it's going to be at competition. So she's going to be doing it at a competition. So she'll set it. Wait, who, who's but in, in every weight, it, so at that age, but every other weight, it's like 150 kg. So it's like, so it's someone will come along and eventually do it, but she's going to so go when in she and goes do it to now. this event to do it, is she going to be up against anyone or is it just her? Yeah, there's going to be, well, yeah, there's going to be other people. In her category? Where's well, the thing? I need to look, but as in, it's, she's not the only person at that age. Do we know that? Deadlifting in the whole country. But for some reason, there's just not a record set, like by the books, by like, like official. Official, official. Like the Guinness. Oh, man. Oh, how long has she got to train for it? So it's February the something. Oh, right, not next it week. is February first today, so it's like how yeah. much? How much is she deadlifting? She's gonna go for like hundred kg, which is fucking ridiculous because she started on like sixty like a few weeks ago, and she's already up to that. And it got me thinking: the reason why I'm such a powerful beast, <laughs> right? I think I get it from her because she's actually well strong, and so, I'm freakishly strong. <laughs> yeah, you are, mate. So I'm just like, <laughs> no, no, I, yeah, but power. You know, like some people are more endurance based, like Simon Uwe, very endurance. Yeah, freak. Reece, Get him on a deadlift, I'm lifting double. Now, nah, I don't know though, but he. he <laughs> could you lift more than Ollie Edwards, though, could you? I don't know, what's he lift? Probably more than you. <laughs> 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 no, but basically. <laughs> no, but listen. But what I'm saying is, I find it quite interesting because you often think, like, oh, I must get my strength from my dad. Oh, male. I get what you're saying. But yeah, to yeah. get it from your mum as a man, like it's, it's quite interesting, isn't it? That, like that, your sister, that she get it. Yeah. She, she, she's strong as well. Like we're powerhouses. You're like short, stubby, like strong people. Yes, we've got short legs. No, because you, if you look at most of the, you know, like when you watch like the... Uh, That's well, turning to an attack. Did you just call you short and stubby? Yeah, <laughs> like short and stubby. No, I'm only saying it because if you look at the strong, <laughs> you know... Goofy and gangly. <laughs> Rattled, mate. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> oh, um, if you look at like strongman world competitions, they're all quite short and like big, like stocky. Right. My mum's not big and stocky. Anymore. <laughs> no, that's not what I'm saying. She's lost 30 kg. That's class. <laughs> yeah. 30 kg. 30 Wait, kg, yeah. She's mad. Mad madness, mate. It's on it. That's what I'm saying. Like, she is someone that's not well fit and whatever. But when you get into like a sustainable lifestyle of doing it, you can be so con consistent so easily. Like, some people think, oh, the gym. It's such a, like, a oh, you have to drag yourself there. You have to really make yourself eat clean and whatever. But when you do it in a way that's not, like, 
over extreme and that is sustainable, mate, it's so easy to stick to. Well, she's changed her habits and lifestyle, isn't it? And then it, it, but what I'm saying, to form a new habit, it takes like 28 days, I think. Oh, I don't know. But like, yeah, basically, yeah. like, it's sick okay, to I'm see. I'm not even sure if that's it's, real. It's well, it's well, like, that partly is what inspired me. And now, like, me, mum, and Phil, my stepdad, like, we're all just on that same vibe. Like, I'm in the middle of making, like, my transformation video concept. She's going for, like, the championships, whatever, competing. And Phil's aiming to lose, he wants to lose, get down to like, I think 16 stone. He's on the Peloton game. Yeah, he's on the Peloton every day. And we're all like on like protein and like eating clean. And it's like, it's so cool to see because they're people that have never been in shape or about that. They've never really been about that. So it's like mad that anyone can, can get to that point where they enjoy that stuff and be a happier, more fulfilled person. It's, if they do it right. It's so good when you surround yourself with, with like-minded individuals because you, you automatically just uh, motivate each other around you. Yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. And that's what I know is happening. And yeah, it's good. It's weird. Like I'm spending a lot of time between my house in London and then down living in my parents' house just because it's like being around them. They work. They get up at 6 a.m. And then it's either like gym or work. They go to work. They have a routine. They're hardworking people. And bit like living alone... I, was, I think not being around that environment actually has an effect of like, well, you're not around that sort yeah. of stimulus. And being around people that are like that, I really am appreciating now, like being around them. Because it's like, it's had an influence on me. Like I'm, I go to the gym at the same time as them and then I'm working when they're working as well. It's, it's very easy, I think, when you live by yourself to just fall into the trap of, oh, I wake up at nine, I wake up at 10. I don't need to be well, up Especially at- if like, like the two of you where <laughs> you've sort of, you've got that, that real like freedom in life where you don't necessarily need to wake up and do anything anyway. Yeah. I think that's why I like to keep myself like busy, busy. So otherwise you just find just you can just find yourself just like, what do I do now? Well, yeah, like, just so lying around. Like, yeah, yeah. Having having a purpose, like I said in that last episode, like having when you lack purpose, you find like distraction and pleasure in things that aren't necessarily productive for you. So it's like I yeah. did have this predicament yesterday because yesterday was meant to be my first day of the training plan I bought for the Iron Man. Mm. And it got to like, I was working like all day and I got to like 10 o'clock and I just didn't have the energy to do this mm. FTP test I was going to do. And I felt like shit. Mm. So I was like, I need to, I need like, this is my first day. I can't skip the first day. Right. I, I had to, I had to skip it. I was just fucked. I just fell, fell asleep. Should have done it before the work. Yeah. But then I, I just didn't have time. But like, I moved it to Wednesday for my day off. Like that's what I was stressing about today. I went to the swimming centre at the London Aquatic Centre, you know, the Olympic pool, mm-hmm. class. Mm-hmm. So you just have to book a time slot so they didn't let me in. Well, you can't just go. No. Jarring. And then like, that's why I came here early. I'm hopefully going to go for a swim tonight. But Yeah. No, it's, that's, that's the thing on, like, in order to be consistent, it has to be sustainable. So, like, maybe from there you've learned that, okay, leaving it till later in the day to do my workout yep. doesn't work for me. So I need to somehow prioritise it and get it in there get in the early. morning. I that's that, That's what I do. I eat breakfast and I go train because if I leave it to later in the day, I'm fatigued from like whatever else I'm doing. I think my prime training time is like between like 11 and 1. Right. Have breakfast, let the breakfast settle and just get it done during the day. And I have noticed as well, you know, last couple of days been like well sunny. Yeah. That's been class. Yeah, yeah. Mate. I go into my living room and the, because of the, where the sun is, the living room like beams on the mor- beams on the morning sun. Beams. You know what I'm saying? Like beams the living from room. the morning sun. Yeah. Yep. So like it just gives me that motivation yeah, every mate. day. The sun is powerful in terms of like walking like when you're in the presence of like you can see the sun, your face in the sun, instant mood enhancer. Hundred percent. And like mate. I've mate, I've been doing this thing like where now I'm cutting. Like I've started. I'm like a few days into my cutting. Um, I've as well as going to the gym now. I make sure I do the dog walk. Like walk Ernie, and I go in like a 5k around the forest. And mate, oh my god! Like in terms of the effects it has on my brain of like pure fucking almost euphoria. Like clarity. Yeah, it just it just gets rid of like it, it, I I I, <clears throat> <it's> been, <laughs> I know it's been like there's been tests and whatnot, and it literally does reduce your cortisol yeah. levels, which causes stress. But I never was like, oh yeah, that's that's. I've ever really, really honed in on that before. But now, the difference compared to going to the gym, the gym is good, but I come away from it, like, still mm. aggressive. That, walking in a forest in nature, mate, vital. I want to do that like, as much as possible now. Mm. 100%. Do you feel like you could do that without a dog? I know that sounds I'm weird. Not, I don't think so. I always find really, if I got... With the per- when you've got the purpose of yeah. walking a dog, it's like the purpose yeah, is... is it's there. I always need a motive to do a walk. Yeah, I feel like I feel like yeah, that and that is something that I have 
sort of realised. Well, for me in the summer, the only way I could do these long, like, I don't like know what you mean. Oh, oh, oh. Like, when I was doing like my sixteen k runs in like thirty one yeah. degree heat, like, if I went out there without headphones, I would go out there <coughs> with the purpose of listening an hour and a half worth of this book or this podcast. Yeah. Like, it has to be something you're yeah, interested so in Yeah, so that's the well. thing. You need to find some sort of purpose. I guess like, right, I haven't really had the chance to think of like, okay, if I needed another purpose, what would it be? I mean, at the moment, just the gasness of like knowing what the result is of going on a walk in the forest mm. would be enough. But I mean, it'll probably get to a point where it's like, right, I need a different stimulus. <laughs> well, I finally found purpose, obviously, with this training plan. Yeah. It actually gives me something to train for. And mate, do you know the one thing I struggled yeah. with? I didn't mind doing like the running and the swimming and the cycling. That was all right because I like cardio. It was when I had to do those strength sessions in the gym. What? That's the best bit? No. Nah. <laughs> nah, man. Nah, man. Brother. I've realised. I've realised. I've actually realised. What? I'm cardio man. You're I'm, cardio I'm, man. I'm, oh, like, honestly, the f I don't mind doing like back day for some reason. Right. That's class. So when I have to do like chest. And it's just like this is crap. Yeah, just, but should I tell, should I tell you why? No, but I don't know why. I'm gonna tell you. There's, there's the re the main reason will be your diet. I think just will, on my own. No, 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 it's your diet. I'm t I'm telling you because I've had it where I feel feel like that. I literally like the idea of going gym. I, I, I what? I, there's no. I do not want to do this. But when you're feeling charged and powerful. There's nothing better than lifting weights. Like, and it's like, you get that from eating the right food. I know what you eat, mate. And it's well, fucked. It's fucked. Uh, also, this is going to sound like a, a burn, but it's not. The worst part, like, is starting the gym when you're weak. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, yeah. So, know. like, you go there Classic. and you, like, you're like, oh, fucking hell, this yeah, is, like, yeah. so horrible. But then, like, once you build up a bit of strength you, and you're, like, constantly, like, oh. overloading... And like, it is a good feeling. Like during yeah. the summer, it was class going because I was like, I'd already started like ages yeah, ago. But now I'm not so. looking. You know that first session back, and you're gonna hurt. Oh, for like the a worst. Week and you're just like, Ugh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Ugh. like not looking forward to yeah. it. Yeah, combination of yeah. So that so wait, yeah, getting getting the ball rolling. Once you've got the ball rolling, and then you sort of notice the progress as well. Yeah. You're into it, and your brain's like, oh. But it's good now. Like in the training session that I've got, it's just it tells you everything you need to do. Oh, what on the old Ironman? Exactly Man thing. what you need to do. Yeah, yeah. like otherwise, otherwise you're just going to be like, oh, I could do that, do that. Like realistically, what am I doing? That's why during lockdown, I knew exactly what I was doing every time, and it was oh. just in the living room. Yeah, and it was out like with the doors open. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. The fresh air and like the sunshine. Yeah, give me that. I'm ready for the summer now, mate. I'm tell so me over about this, it. I'm so over this dark, depressing. Well, to winter. be fair, like, with it being sunny the past few days, it's not been well hot, but like I've started f to feel like oh, yeah, no, yeah. teasing summer. It's sort of teasing it, and it's like. It's so much easier to do exercise when it is like hot and sunny and all that stuff. Did you not hear that little sprinkle in my voice in the voice notes earlier? <laughs> Spr oh yeah, you were gassed. Oh, well, it's because of the sun. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, mate, it has a it. huge effect. Huge effect. Um, oh shit, what was I going to say? One last thing. Hydration. <laughs> Hydration, mate. Fucking water is better than coffee. If you want to feel fucking an, uh, an energy boost, fucking down mate. 500 metres to a litre of water, just fucking down it, in 10 minutes you will be... Fucking gas. I genuinely think I drink like five to seven litres of water a day. Yeah, mate. I, once I've realised like the power of that, oh my God, it's a game changer. Good for your skin as well. Yeah, if you're yeah, feeling well tired and oh my God, I need to go to sleep, instead of coffee, water. That's mate. what they say. First thing you should do when you wake up is have a glass of water. Do you know yeah, what I yeah. do, which I highly recommend? You get like five bottles. I used to use Evian bottles because they're really easy to drink should from. Be Buxton, mate. I know, I know. <laughs> but you just rotate them around the fridge. So when you finish one, Fill it up, put it in the fridge. Then mm. you've just got an unlimited supply of cold water. Mm. Or you could just use like an, you know, like a filter, fil filtration yeah. system. Yeah, well, like, well the noticed, tap. Like, obviously down no, here. No, but the tap's not ice cold. You want the ice cold Well, mate, water. down here, it is ice cold. Or as well. Like, in this, it's in London. It's lukewarm, mate. Yeah. And it's been through multiple people. Like, from getting to the from the west to the east, apparently it's been through like eight people. Who was it telling? Was it you? It was, well, it was well saying, telling us last episode. Oh, yeah, like, Phil hangs out at the fucking like <laughs> shit works. <laughs> Actually eating shit. Yeah, oh. no, you are at, when you're drinking out of tap. Yeah, it's all sorts. I mean, one thing I re I, I learned from Phil is that <laughs> he just knows about all the taps and shit. Is that that you think? Oh, okay. Is the tap water pipe going under all the houses and through the ground? Just like surely it's all rusty and full of mud and shit. But no oxygen gets in. So it, mold and shit needs oxygen to get in and grow. So nothing can grow in there because it's just... <laughs> but doesn't just oxygen go down the pipe from your sink? You know, when like... No, it doesn't let air in. Only come, stuff comes out. But if you like... Well, you just don't think... <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Blowing it up. Well, yeah, but if there's like... Surely, you know the sink hole? There's like holes in it. 
and the holes are like in a bathroom full of air. Yeah, but yeah, but I think by the time it gets, there must be an air, a point where, it, no, but that's waste. The water getting supplied to your house is not the same as the waste pipe taking it away. Is it water Does it got water, oxygen in? Isn't water H2O? Yeah, H2O is a new thing. Oxygen is a thing, and H2O is a new thing. H2O isn't O. Well, no, but H2O is two hydrogen, hydrogen plus yes. hydrogen. Yes, which is a oxygen. new thing. That's no longer oxygen. Yeah, but that's how it's fish it, how fish is breathing the water. Because they like their gills suck in the oxygen. Like they separate the oxygen. I don't know, Matt. I think, I think Phil's uh, got you running down a no, different no, no, rabbit no, hole. This no, one. no, no. Basically, water is not oxygen. You go on, breathe water, mate. Well, no, no, no we, yeah, we, we can't. can't. Yeah, but, fish can. Yeah, fish but can. Yeah, but, yeah, okay, but now think about the point that you're originally making is that, like, because H2O is in the pipes, it's oxygen, and it should, you know what I mean? You're, that's the point you're making. But if you put rust, yeah, water. I don't know, maybe you're right on this no, one. I'm gonna the be reason open... why rust is because it's exposed yeah, to look, oxygen. Look, Joe, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be open-minded and say, you know what, I actually believe you on this one. Well, and until, you, until you've <laughs> researched, you've you got to just have fucking what? research. Oh, Luke, you never have the right to agree or disagree. <laughs> Luke, Luke, I think you're being a bit closed-minded by saying it's a load of bollocks. Oh, about this are you dragging H- me in? H two O waffling. H two O waffling. Yeah, you're saying all this H two O bollocks. I believe, like cruise I believe you. I was looking at cruises the other day. What are you going to go on P and O cruises? I was looking at P and O, no, <laughs> Royal Caribbean, and celebrity cruises. Celebrity cruises. What's what, that? You're going to go on a celebrity one? No, it's just called Celebrity Cruises. Yes, oh, Jamie Vardy. <laughs> Wait, actually, you know how you always think that like, TV adverts don't work? What? You know, like TV adverts, you're like, why is I not advertising on TV? It doesn't work. How uh, what? You know when like you look at a TV when and you see anyone it, said that? I always look at it and see like, what is the point of this advert? No one's going to be doing that. Yeah, but that's what they want you to do. Because now, now you've remembered that. Mate, I saw a, the Celebrity Cruises and it was like, looked like this really cool like cruise around Turkey, Greek. Greece and Ireland, no, Turkey, Greece and Italy. <laughs> and I just went on their website. <laughs> I, I fell for a TV ad. I started like doing the website and like looking how much it how is. How much are they? Well, expensive. Oh. Yeah. Well, they're all inclusive, aren't they? Well, not all of them. Yeah. Okay, what about this then? What is your idea, and everyone at home, what is your idea of the perfect holiday? Oof. I had, I had it in Budapest. Uh, oh, God. Now, number one for me... Is who are you with? Yeah. Has to be your company. That's number one priority. Yeah. Number two. Activities. Yeah. No, no, I'm not. not what, oh. If you had to book your ideal holiday, right what, now. Yeah, what would it be? Right now, it would be Iceland. Yeah. Really? I've never been. It's not nice and warm, like somewhere I've cold. All, I, I just had to buy, didn't I? You're legitimate. So I want I want a bit of Iceland. You know, there's so much, so much beauty and na- yeah. nature there. I've never been. Have you been? No, like, I've been watching the ski jumping on the, the championships in Germany. Yeah. And I, they fly. And it made me think, well, you know, when you're on a mountain skiing and you look at all the other mountains and yeah. you're like however many thousand feet off the ground and it's like, wow, the world is fucking mad. I'm going uh, yeah. skiing in March and it's uh, opposite Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc. What? Yeah, the, like the pens. Isn't that a fucking oh. brand? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Actually but it's is. named after the mountain, man. Really? They make pens, I swear. And watches, pens. don't they? Yeah, and probably other stuff. Yeah, man. Uh, what, what's your What's your ideal holiday? Your ideal dream holiday? holiday right now would right now. Vitamin D. Would be yeah. So it's going to be sunny. There's going to be a beach available. Forest maybe, but no fucking <laughs> bugs. They can fuck off. They go for my sweet blood like it's fucking nothing. And I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Right. So I went to Bali. <laughs> And they fucking bit the shit out of me all, all day long. Fuck off. And he clotted your arm. Yeah, I clotted my arm with this piece of shit. Maybe they <laughs> hypnotised me. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> no, but listen, it was jarring. Um, so, foresty sort of like beach. There's going to be a gym now and there's going to be a special spa lady that comes and sees me every day. <laughs> what do you mean a special one? So, she's going to come round. No, nah, she's not, she's not going to wank me off. <laughs> Did you have any of them? No, I've never had one of them. Yes, you have. I've no, you know I haven't. Yeah, you have. Why are you making it up? Mate, you told us about it. (laughs) Look, I've never. You paid an extra twenty quid. (laughs) Look, no, I haven't. I feel like you, you could. No, I, I, I I chat a good game, but when it would come down to it, my morals were kicking, and I'd be like, "That's not me." Isn't it a bit awkward for you though? Why is it awkward? Well, if you go to a spa, oh, you got small knob. (laughs) No, 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 no one's, no one's going to say that. (laughs) I'm going to be like, you know, like. Say they're doing a leg massage on you. Leg massage, yes. And like you have to turn on your back, so your front up, and they start doing like your thighs. Like you know what you're like. Like you're gonna get a rock on. Has that happened to you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> wait, wait, so you've gone to get so a massage. Wait, you just have to firm it and you're just sitting there just, and she knows that you know that she knows. So you've got quality in it. Yeah, but do you, <laughs> do you talk about it? Do you say, sorry about that? Or do you say, it's a compliment, love? No, I'm not grotesque. It just happens. It's just natural. Yeah, but, yeah, but does you it? You ask a lot of blokes, mate. If you're getting touched and rubbed and caressed up the inner thigh, certain things happen, right? It's no one's fault. It's a bit embarrassing, but you sit there and you just focus, okay? I don't win. Does it, does it get talked about? No. What? I'm not saying, oh, do you like my fucking rock? No, <laughs> no, no, but is she like, oh? <laughs> no, no, no. No. I had a weird experience in uh, Dubai. What happened? <laughs> <laughs> in the spa. What happened? In the masseuse. What did he do? <laughs> he? No. So we went for like a, you know, a really cool couples retreat massage. And two in the same room. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is going to be cute. This is going to be fun. <laughs> and then they just left us in the room, but I didn't say anything. Like, do we get changed? Do we not get changed? Like, there was nothing there for, to right. put on. And they came back. They just started giggling to themselves. I was like, what the fuck? This is weird. They're like, oh, go on. We naked? No, we're just in our clothes. Okay. And they're like, go on, naked. And I'm like, what? Yeah, trousers down. <laughs> so you're literally not telling me to take my trousers down. Yeah. And then we're like, okay. Just started like taking in them down. In front of them. You get your cock out. Of what? Hang on. And I was like, okay. And they're like, okay, lay down. And they're like, oh, no, no. And I'm like, what, what do you mean? What the fuck do you mean? You knew what they meant. And they, mate, they started giggling. They're like, oh, take it down. <laughs> And they're like, as if they're like taking the piss out of me, like wanting to get me naked. And Jodie's just there, just like, what's going on here? And I, I literally was going to them. I was like, what the fuck are you doing? Is she naked? No. Okay, did you get naked? What I, happened? No, I'm not going to get fucking naked. Why? They, they didn't, normally in a massage place, when you get dressed into your little outfit. What outfit? <laughs> <laughs> you know, the outfit you have to wear, right? <laughs> you know, the little like panty thing. The things, little fishnet thing. Yeah. Yeah. But like, normally they'll just leave. Yeah. And you get dressed and go under the Maybe towel. Maybe they thought, oh, no, like, they, they, there's general practice that when the masseuse first let you in and then they leave, it's your now chance to get ready. Why wouldn't they just fucking leave? They just sat there giggling and watching okay. me as I started getting dressed. Did they end dressed. up, like, get, you know, Mate, fucking you or they, what? what? Did, did anything happen? Where, where's it going? Did, they, did something happen? Well, they were just laughing at me and pointing at me, like, pointing at my cock. And then what? And just giggling. <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? I literally yeah. said, what the fuck are you doing? They're like, ha, 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 ha. Like, what is wrong with you? And then the massage, oh my God, the fucking most painful thing I've ever done in my life. And you know when you're like, you want to firm the pain? Because like, I don't know, something, some weird complex is like, I can take this. Don't, let, don't show a sign of weakness. Yeah. I was like, almost crying. Did you cry? They started climbing on me. Yeah. I was getting climbed on. Yeah. I was getting kneed in the back. You never had one before. And then they kept saying things to each other in, I don't know what language, but then they were just like laughing. And it was just really... In a yeah, they were probably just, like, talking, like, about yeah, but, like, what yeah, but, mate, they not, did yesterday. You know, in, like, when you're paying for, like, a couple's massage, you want, like, a nice retreat, peaceful. They're talking to each other and laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know what jarring. they're saying. Yeah, that is and it's just jarring. like, come on, just tell me what you're laughing at. Like, what, what can tell you me. Just tell me what you're laughing at. It was really, really jarring. It really fucking hurt. But I, yeah. I felt like they were laughing at the fact that she knew that she was going really hard on my back. Like, oh, see how much Did Jodie say it was nice? She had a great massage, yeah. Fuck. Do you ever do it to each other? Like, do you ever? I'm fuck the best it? at massage. Oh, the best. Like, and then, the best. like, does it lead uh, to stuff? What does it? Why do you want to know so much? Are you sexually depleted right now? No, but I'll tell you what. Right, so you know, I did start. I started like not right after the first like the whole of the month of January. Don't think I had a single rod on. Right? I didn't. I didn't really get horny. One I single one. I, I wasn't about it. I was so you like, haven't wanked for a month? No, no, no. So I was. It's February the first. Okay, let me tell my fucking story. <laughs> right, so I was just trying. I was no, I was just sort of like, oh, it's fine, fine. Like I'm focused. Maybe yeah. Like obviously my mind was a bit all over the gaff, um, but it started to come like to come back with a vengeance. Like as in I'm really fucking feeling it again. And I'm like, is that because the sun's starting to come out? Is it because like oh I'm 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 I've sort of had, had this breakthrough from where I sort of was. My my mind was a bit all over the gaff, and now I'm I really feel focused again, and and everything's coming along with it. You know, when you're feeling a bit depressed, you, you, it does the, the 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 sex drive and things does go. One hundred. But when you come through, is it like, oh, we've been saving up for this? <laughs> <laughs> so have you been like, <laughs> how many times a day at the moment? No, I, I, I no, I haven't been wanking. No, because that is no genuinely, genuinely. I know I've said that a million times, but like, I um, like what you expose yourself to really does have an effect. And toxic things really does have an effect on you. Like I said before, everything is a transfer of energy. If you're exposing yourself to things like pornography, 
That is fucking that. Dude, that that's not. You know what I mean? That that's some fucking bit dodgy energy, mate. And you're taking that in, and you're. I don't know. I just from my experience, it doesn't end in like me feeling fantastic, right? But whereas me, like, I'm more driven. I'm more like fucking on it when I'm not doing any. T- you know, it's the same sort of bracket as if I'm eating loads of junk food. If I'm just sleeping around with random girls that like might be. I don't know. I don't know what they're exposing their cells to. If they're living a toxic life and got toxic energy all around them, like you know, when you fucking have sex with someone, you that is the most intimate energy transfer there fucking is. And you you don't if you're doing that with someone that you don't really know that, that it fucking rubs off on you. Would, talking would, about you wank, be, mate. would you not be more worried about like contracting an STI <laughs> or something? Well, yeah, but like, uh, so are you not getting like, you know how you said it's come back with adventure, a vengeance? Ah. What do you mean by that though? I was just very horny, and you're just you're just not giving in to the bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because what it is, right? I feel like when you start to get on a roll, like fucking, start getting little tests, <laughs> like oh, go on, fucking. How can we get him? How can we get him <laughs> to give in? It's just your <laughs> test is not is having gonna a be, So it's either going to be like, oh, no, I know. No, no, get you to fucking go back to being like your mediocre self, <laughs> right? And fucking for me, like a way to, 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 to take me back there is to, take, to make me a fucking wank addict, <laughs> right? But like another, no, other people, no, if you, if you, if, no, if you yeah. get them off their exercise, if you get them off their diet, if you're, sure. it, we wouldn't like, you know what I mean? I feel like I there's, there's temptations, there's things out there that just, I feel like, for a sexual bloke, that must actually be really hard. Yeah, but like, if you just leave it, ease and easiness is the fucking uh, is is the is is the enemy of progress and elevation. You don't want things to just constantly be easy, man. <laughs> Are you trying to get more clips for your fitness video? <laughs> no. Oh. What fitness video? What fitness? No, they know uh, that. Huh? Oh yeah, no, they do know. So you've not wanked in over a month. No. <laughs> Do you have one? Anyways. A moment of weakness. Uh, no, it's not necessarily a weakness. It's just, I don't know. You just you I, feel like mentally... I know what I'm yeah. on about, and there are certain people that get what I'm on about. No, if you yeah. don't get what I'm on about, you don't get what I'm on about. I feel like, for you, wanking is the first step of falling back into somewhere you don't want to be. Yeah, it actually is, mate. Yeah. It actually is. See, I do get you. What about you? No, wanking is just normal for me. Yeah, yeah. But then in other ways, like say for example, like hate comments, maybe uh, like football Twitter might be your weakness. Oh, not at all. <laughs> I love it. You do love I it. I used to hate it, but now I learned to love it. Because yeah. you know what I've seen, you know what I've seen recently. What? The tides are turning, lads. What have you done? They're starting to realise that I am actually a genius. Oh. And I do know what I'm talking about. And then I was like, fuck. For example, go on. For example. Well, the whole Dan Byrne situation. Oh, okay. And then. I knew that El Beetle referred to George who's El Beetle? George Best. George, George Best. That's George Best. Oh, legitimate. And I said there was a quiz was who is this guy? And I said it's George Best. He looks like a beetle. Like, you know, he looked at like the beetle haircut and they laughed at me in the face, but I was correct. Okay. And was then, it a guess say? Huh? No. It makes sense. Oh. Because I, I know how many clubs he played for. He played for hundreds of clubs all over the world. But the people need to realise <laughs> that Oh. Sorry. Now, when it comes to football, you are the man. I am the man. I think that the, the crowd is starting to get on board, you know. The haters used to hate, and they slowly become fans. I think also, you used to let it, like, it would show that, like, you were, like, rattled by them. Yeah, but through getting that, that exposure to that stuff, it made you stronger. Like I was saying, like, ease is the enemy of progress. You could say that Jamie Carragher did me a favour. Jamie, yeah, but through getting exposed to these difficult things, it's made you fucking elevate into the man you are. Do you know what I mean? It's it's very legitimate. And now, oh fuck, I forgot to give you your presents. Do it now. Oh, but it's like right at the very end of the episode. People do what people don't watch a podcast for ten so minutes. So guess what? Next episode. Oh, oh no, at the no, beginning of no. ages. At the beginning of the next episode, Malfoy and Luke are gonna be getting some serious presents. Oh, I feel like I need to get you one. No. Well, and I think we're also... You could do. It's my birthday soon. I think we can... River, we, I think we're going to have Prime on the show next Prime. week. Prime? I don't know if it arrives on time, but KSI and Logan have sent Birthday's their... over a month away. ...have sent their, <laughs> have sent their uh, Prime Energy Drink for us to do a taste test live okay. in the flesh. Nice. So that'll be good. But anyways, make sure you check us next week. Leave a like, rate, and leave five stars on Spotify. And we hope you've enjoyed this show. It's been Waffling. You're the Waffling Mafia. See you later.